Well, it's not every day a hometown kid makes it to the NFL. Back in 2005, when he graduated from Cape High, go Seahawks, Taurus Johnson dreamed of just getting a full scholarship to play football. Today, he signed with the Kansas City Chiefs, ranked 34th in the nation as a wide receiver. And the coaches are already talking about giving him a starting role come fall. Amy Sedlacek has the play-by-play -play in tonight's success story. Brophy with time. Looking for Johnson. Johnson, touchdown, South Florida. It's better than a Hail Mary at the end of the game. For Taurus Johnson, this is what all those highlight reels are about, getting to the NFL. When I got that phone call, finally, you know, I was like, all right, you know, that, you know, my dream came true, you know, going from from high school to college and now I'm going to the pros. Drafted Sunday by the Kansas City Chiefs, the University of South Florida wide receiver signed a three-year free agent deal. Now I'm sitting here, you know, get ready to go play in the NFL, which is, like I said, I'm still overwhelmed by it. The call came from Chiefs wide receiver coach Dedrick Ward, who scouted Johnson at a workout in Tampa about a month ago. I was talking to Dedrick and Dedrick was like, hey, he's like, hey man, he's like, he's like I, I want you here. He's like, He's like, I believe you can do some great things here, and uh, you come here and uh, contribute to the team. You know, you can compete for a starting job right away. And uh, when I heard that, I was like, all right, you know, I'm like, I can do this. You know, I was overwhelmed at first, and I was like, I said, coach, I said, either way, I said, I'll be ready. So uh, I said, come May 7th, you know, I'll, I'll be ready to go to camp and be ready to work hard. Working hard is something Johnson's mom says he's always done. She remembers the first time he told her he'd get to the NFL. Since he was seven years old, and I'll never forget the quote, um, we were driving across the Midpoint Bridge in Cape Coral, and we were in the car, and he was seven, plain as day, to the point. Mom, when, when I get into the NFL, I'm going to buy you a house and give you $10,000. He goes, but when you run out of money, you got to go to work. I was like, okay. So <laughs> he's been very focused on that. He's always stayed with it. It's, it's passion, his drive, his will. It's just something that he's always wanted to do without any doubt. From his Pop Warner days to playing at Cape High and then for the South Florida Bulls, Johnson credits his family and coaches for always pushing him. Man, you know, basically all, all my dreams came true, and, you know, like they always told me, you know, as, as long as I stay on the right path, you know, and I had people behind me since the beginning, and, and it, it, it's worked out. But it wasn't all studying film or plays or the spread offense. Four years ago, Johnson tackled another goal, college. And on Friday, he'll be the first in his family to get a college degree. Six days later, he'll report to training camp in Kansas City. I mean, it's not our dream. It was always his. We just, we just pushed him to, to get there. And we're, we're fortunate and, and we're really blessed as a family that he gets to, you know, do exactly what he said he was going to do and play on Sunday. And we'll be watching. Trading that South Florida green and gold for Chiefs red and gold. I'm going to represent Cape Coral and Fort Myers really well, and I'm going to do the best that I can to uh, make my, my family proud of me. And to all those who aspire to follow him into the NFL, Johnson has this to say. And I tell him, you know, just as long as you work hard and you stay focused and you, you stay around the positive and get rid of all the negatives, and, you know, the sky's the limit, you know, you can do anything. In Cape Coral, Amy Sedlachik, Fox 4 in your corner. Very exciting. Well, Amy tells us when asked about that promise of buying her a house when he got to the NFL, Torres' mom laughed and said they're good right now. She just wants him to succeed. Johnson reports to training camp on May 7th.